Episode 5, The Magical Wand of Transformation. Where do you wish to go? Only the power of the legendary witch can defeat the god of destruction. The legendary witch? Huh? You know something about that, Cerberus? No, pardon the interruption. Please continue. Certainly. Our school has been entrusted with the legendary witch's ultimate item, the magical wand of transformation. The legends state that using it will grant you the form of an invincible witch then and there. It's more than likely that the only way to defeat the strongest god of destruction is to utilize that power. Okay, hand it over then. I'll just turn into this invincible witch thing and take it down. Zed, do you of all people intend to become a witch? Psst, you do know that they're all girls, right? Who cares? All that matters is defeating the god of destruction. My, my! Prince Zed really won't hesitate to do whatever it takes. So Prism Zed will become Prism Zedina. Now that's what I call a ratings booster. I appreciate your spirit, but only fully trained witches like me are capable of transforming into invincible witches. Oh, what the hell? All right then, Pruny, why don't you transform for us? What? Me? I suppose it's fine, since our school might otherwise be destroyed by the God of Destruction. Should that happen, my precious students would surely all perish. I must do all I can to prevent that from happening. Very well. Since it's only temporary, I shall transform into an invincible witch. Punks. Remember when I mentioned our security system? Since you weren't invited here, 
you're all technically intruders. But this is a good opportunity for me to grade your abilities. What the? You managed to obtain it already? What's the problem? I just saved us a bunch of time. Huh. And here I thought you were a run-of-the-mill zombie. You're no ordinary individual, are you? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hurry up and transform, you old hag! This is for my students. Ah! Incredible! An overwhelming amount of magic power is being unleashed within me. <sighs> Zed. Zed. Huh? Who's calling me? Zed, I have a request to make. I can't hear you. If you got something to say, then speak up, got it? Please, stop him. Huh? What the hell was that? What's wrong now, Zed? <sighs> Nothing. I was just hearing things. You know how it is. My brain's rotted through. Hearing things? That's rather alarming, Zed. Um, speaking of alarming... Ah! What? What is with this shameless attire? Uh, who the hell are you? It's me, you brat! Magdalene! Girl, press magical. Hmm. It appears the wand's magical power has transformed her from an old woman to a young girl. Is this really the time to be calmly analyzing the situation? I mean, just look at me. Who cares? Does it really matter as long as it helps us defeat the God of Destruction? Of course it does. What does this? have to do with being invincible! Just trotting around as a miniskirt wearing magical girl when I'm already well over 10,000 years old! What a nightmare! The birth of a 10,000 year old magical girl certainly is a nightmare. that way on the outside, but she's really over 10,000 years old, you know. That's totally fine. The TV audience won't care, as long as she's adorable. Cute as justice, too. Huh? What's this piece of paper? Oh? It appears to be the instructions for the magical wand of transformation. According to this, you need to recite an incantation with a true name to receive its full power. An incantation with a true name? What am I supposed to say? Transform! Magical Girl Magnificent Marjoline is on the scene! Then you twirl. What? I said, transform! Magical Girl Magnificent Marjoline is on the scene with a twirl. What? What? 
Hey, hurry up and say it already. I want to see what an invincible witch can do. Stop insisting on the impossible. I'm over 10,000 years old, you brat. As if I could ever say something so embarrassing. It's fine, familiars. These people aren't intruders. Stand down at once. Are you incapable of following simple commands? It's me, you fools! Principal Moduline! Don't you recognize me? Well, of course they don't. You look like a completely different person. <laughs> it's far more unreasonable to expect them to recognize you like this, is it not? Ugh. This shameless form is entirely unbecoming for the Honorable Maji Mage School of Magic's principal! I must defeat the God of Destruction and regain my original form. Otherwise, I'll lose my status, along with my dignity. About that, you do know you're stuck this way, right? Huh? It says right here in the instructions, once used, you cannot reverse course. Take care when doing so. So many people who would pay mountains of cash to be young again. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. No, 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 no! This school values tradition and order. It is the most prestigious school in the netherworld. It is unimaginable for the principal of such an esteemed institution to run around as a shameless, magical girl! <laughs> oh, I don't see the problem here. Don't sweat the small stuff. This isn't small in the least! Where do you wish to go? <sighs> How did it all come to this? You're the one who used that wand thingy without reading the instructions first. That's true, but... I told you not to sweat the small stuff. Don't you want to protect your students from the God of Destruction? Just focus on that. Does anything else really matter? Y you may be right, but... 
No! It's impossible when I happen to look like this! So, you care more about your looks than you do your students? Is that it? Uh, th th that's... Hm. I guess they don't mean that much to you after all. S silence I will not allow myself to be lectured by some pathetic zombie. I am Principal Majoline of the prestigious Maji Mage School of Magic! My burden is greater than your existence. Burden? So whatever burden you got is more important than your students? Well, what about you? You couldn't possibly know what it's like to bear such a burden. Of course I do! Hm. I'll talk, most likely. If that's true, then tell me. Why are you fighting the God of Destruction? Because... Looks like we've got company. Time to shut our yaps. Bobby. Hmm? What's wrong? Can't sleep, Biko? Yeah. I had a scary dream. Well, do you want to sleep here tonight? Yeah! Yeah! Sleep over with Bubby! Bubby's super strong, so don't worry. There's nothing to be scared of as long as I'm here. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Bubby. I love you. No! Oh! Biko's cuteness almost vaporized me again. But Biko knows, Bubby's not good at fighting. People pick on poor Bubby all the time. So you saw that, huh? Well, I may be weak in a fight, but do you know what is strong? My heart. No matter what happens, I'll protect you, Biko. Now get some sleep, okay? Okay. <laughs> I love you lots, Bubby. Night-night.